Right now, protesters are starting to gather at the St. Lucie Locks to send a message. They don't want water released from Lake Okeechobee flowing to the Treasure Coast. News Channel 5's Chris Stewart is live this morning in Stewart with the very latest. Good morning, Chris. Well, good morning, John. Uh, more people showing up uh, as the morning continues on here at the St. Lucie Locks Recreational Area, all protesting against a potential decision to release water from Lake Okeechobee. The water releases have been blamed for bringing in toxins and pesticides, creating algae plumes. The Army Corps of Engineers spokesperson who I talked to this morning told me it has not been decided where the water would go if it is released or how much of it would be discharged. The spokesperson said if they make the call today, to do it. The discharges would not actually start until tomorrow at the earliest. The decision has not been made today yet on whether uh, these discharges will happen. The people who have gathered here this morning say they are worried it'll cause more problems. The river was so toxic we were told we could not go in or near the water. We're calling it the lost summer of 2013. Now, coming up in 20 minutes, I'll tell you how these protesters have been getting the word out. That's ahead in 20 minutes. We're live in Stewart. Chris Stewart, WPTV News Channel 5.